Morning. Some students are heading off to school, others still involved in some sort of online learning. We've seen schools that started in person pull back and close down. Others that started virtual are charting a path to return to in person learning. And plenty of suburban school boards are meeting this week to talk about that whole issue. Our Adriana Mendez is tracking the decisions they're making about our kids' education. And Adriana joins us live now with more on what she's been able to find out. Adriana, good morning. Well, good morning. Here in Greenfield, district officials are working on a phased approach to get children back into the classroom. At the start of the school year, they started off fully virtual, and now they are working on that phased approach. And they told parents that they would need to be flexible throughout the school year, as there would be a high likelihood that they would be switching back and forth from in-person classes to virtual classes throughout the year due to coronavirus. Now, a number of schools across southeast Wisconsin held a virtual meeting to discuss their own plans to return children back into the classroom. So here are where some schools in our area stand. In Wauwatosa, the school board discussed the idea of keeping its current hybrid model in place at least until December, citing data and fears of going fully virtual if they were to return back to in-person classes too quickly. That decision was met with mixed reactions from parents. Over in West Dallas, schools are all virtual still, but the school board met to talk about how they are preparing for in-person learning. Now, over in Menominee, Falls officials also met yesterday after it announced on Friday that it would start to bring back students in the next month. And down in Racine, school board members implored the community to practice safe social distancing so that schools could have some chance to return to in-person learning. At least a dozen people who attended the meeting, including a few parents, expressed their frustration, saying virtual classes have taken away the emotional interaction with children. Now, once again, here in the Greenfield School District, they're working on that phased approach, but they are taking into account the number of coronavirus cases in the city as well as in the county. Reporting in Milwaukee County, Adriana Mendez, Team G4 News.